Formula One. A uh, few main points I'm talking about is uh, how Formula Crown R1 works, how the race works, and how many teams there are, and the history of the form. So I can talk about this car all day, uh, but I'm just going to basics. So you got front wing, rear wing, side front suspension, diffuser, and chassis, right? So uh, the diagram here, just a base of what the, how the car actually works. Uh, you can go more in depth on it on how each uh, part of the car works. Front wing comes off, rear wing comes off, side pods are part of the chassis, which is like the body of the car. The fuser and suspension, suspension is connected to the front wing and then the fuser is in the back. So these are teams. Uh, can anyone guess what the only American team is? Mercedes, McLaren, uh, Aston Martin, uh, and Williams all come from England. Alfa Romeo and Ferrari come from Italy, and Alpine is a French team. Uh, Red Bull and Alfa Tauri come from uh, the Dutch, uh, but Red Bull owns Alfa Tauri. It's kind of a double team in, in a sense. Races, all right, so races, uh, so obviously there's 10 teams. Uh, there's free practice on Friday and Saturday morning, and during the day on Saturday, there's qualifying. Uh, there's three stages. There's Q1, Q2, and Q3. The fastest car is getting Q3, and then rank it. Whoever comes first, second, third, Q10, that's how the race starts. Um, so the track layout, if you look at it, there's these green parts right here. It's called DRS. All right, and DRS is a drag, drag effective unit, right? So basically, the rear wing of the car, right here, it'll open and give the car more uh, top, top speed. Only in straights can't do it in curves. Um, so races usually last about two and a half, three hours. About 190 miles for each race, give or take, in the track. Some tracks are longer than others. All right, history of S1. F F1 first race took place in France in 1901. The FIA, which is like the governing portion of Formula One uh, joined the sport in 1904, 1950 was the first championship series, meaning that up until 1904 it was just races. It wasn't like really calculated or they weren't calculating points or anything. But in 1950, uh, they started the championship series where you can actually win cups and like, you know, even the money aspect was all involved. And then uh, in the year 2000, the model car was introduced. So that is like kind of a model car. This halo right here wasn't introduced until about 2015 to protect the drivers more in case it was crashed. Uh, more information. Um, so probably one of the most biggest talking points you can talk about F1, we can talk about it all day, was sponsorships, right? So this is probably one of the most sponsored cars, the Aston Martin car. Uh, as you see, it's loaded up with sponsorships, right? So the better the, better the team does, more sponsorships you get, which means the more money you get, which means the more you can improve your car, right? And the better your team becomes, right? So F1 is multi-billion dollar business, right? So if you do really, really well, you get more sponsors. A lot of these sponsors you don't know because this is a European sport, right? It's not really an American sport. But um, the more sponsors you get, the more money you get, and um, it also brings a lot of uh, fans to watch. USA has three races that come to the US. One's in Austin, one's in Miami, and the previous one that they've got out of the box.